Hello, Identity 5 Gamers. Today, we're watching some more Koa. That's right, it's still Koa season, so we're watching some more Koa today. Before that, though, I did actually uh, open membership on my channel. Uh, it's only $1 a month, and there's not really too many benefits. I made a community post about it if you'd like to see more details. Uh, so go check that out if you're interested. Uh, also, I am just a few uh, steps away from getting the little magician graffiti here. I want to see if I can grab that real quick. Here we go. Beautiful. Yay, now I have that little sticker. But yeah, everybody, today we are going to be watching uh, more South Korea. We're watching day two sets number one and two. That's right, we have two sets to watch today. Uh, looks like I'm getting Kurt's freaking costume again and Embalmer Dance. I think I already have both. Yes, I do indeed. I will take those fragments. That's 400 fragments. Thank you very much, game. All right, let's get into the matches. Here we are, it's round one. First half, we're going to watching Team VF versus Team GBB. Of course, we got Opera Singer. It is round one after all. And she's going up against Psychologist, Enchantress, Aeroplanist, and Mercenary. Bit interesting to see Enchantress, I can't lie. Um, she's been a bit of a hit or miss character, honestly. Like She's seen as a pretty weak character uh, overall. But her coming out in uh, Koa, especially round ones, has uh, been more common than you might think. And there's a chance that we might actually see old Patty take the first kite. And yep, it sure looks like it, thanks to the spawns. Okay, that's honestly probably best that she takes the first kite because Aeroplanist does have Tide. Uh, we've seen in many Opera games where Opera will be chasing the person with Tide and they lose a person with Tide, and that's not really that great. Uh, the, the build is looking pretty standard. We've got Panic, Fast Palette Break, um, Survivor's Exposed at Endgame, and just Blink Detention Trump Card. Uh, pretty center stuff from the Opera Singer. It looks like we've got Borrowed Time Tied on both Aeroplanist and Mercenary, and Borrowed Time Knee Jerk on Psychologist, then full kite build on the Enchantress. So they really want this Enchantress to take the kite, which uh, looks to be happening right here. Um, luckily, did not take a hit right there. Good stuff from Patty. And if she if she can kite this out to uh, like to a point where all the Cyphers are sitting it around, mm, I want to say, oh, there's the first stun. Good stuff, good stuff. Her fly was not ready, though. There's the first hit. Okay, going to run towards Corner House. Um... But if she, if she can cut it out to like to the point where all the ciphers are at like around just to be about completed, maybe like 20% away, that's going to be good. The biggest thing is the blink here. The blink is going to be the biggest factor in how this down goes. She could uh, just see a blink right here. Oh, good stuff. Okay. Misses the blink for Patty, and then she can flywheel past his pallet. Let's see, flywheel. Oh, but she was patient enough. She was patient enough. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Solid down from our screen. At least she didn't go down to the blink, right? The The... It was a pretty fast down. I'd say that was honestly a below average kite, considering one cipher was at 44. I think the mercenary cipher got interrupted or something. Um, so that's a little bit unfortunate. You, you, would, you would like to see those ciphers a little bit further along, but they do have their double tied. Uh, Patty does have rebound kite potential since she has two stuns. Uh, potentially she might even get a, you'll careful now, Opera. <laughs> uh, potentially could get a third one if she kites long enough. Here comes mercenary, takes the hit. Uh, here a little early, I can't even lie. He's a little early um, and uses a, really? No, I disagree. I disagree. I, I don't think it was necessary to use that elbow pad. I don't think it was necessary. Like, as long as Patty goes one way and Mercenary goes the other, that's, that's all you need. That's all you need. And the stun is charging relatively fast. We should see a three stat come out here sometime soon. Uh, can she make it to... What were we doing? What was that? Did she got stuck on the pal, but why did she go back out? Like, you saw Opera come into one side. Why'd you come back? I know it's like a good thing to mind game the, the pallets and whatnot, but I, I felt like that was um I felt like that was just a pretty silly mistake. Looks like Psych is whistling to the mercenary and yikes, a little too close to Opera Singer, my goodness. Might actually uh take a hit here and potentially could just go down since she no longer has her stress to work with. Let's see. Oh, nope, TP's back, TP's back. I feel like you definitely could have got a hit there. You could definitely could have got a hit. Um And we're having Mercenary Rescue again for some reason, and we're not using Aeroplanist Tide. I'm not really sure what's up with that. Typically you wanna see uh Three stack, good, 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 good. There's the three stack, and you still have another. You still have another stun as well, so you have a little bit of a bonus, uh, a bonus stun. That three stack allows you to get into the two-story area here. Now you can kind of play around here. It's a bit of a stalling moment. Uh, uh, okay, there she vaults. Probably could have played it a little. Uh, I guess with Opera, you can't be a. Uh, whoa, whoa, careful now. Jeez, you, gotta, you gotta be, you gotta pay attention. There, we got one more stun left. Oh, that actually canceled its habit recovery. That's unfortunate. That sucks. If she stunned, she could have flywheeled and then stunned again. Oh, that's unfortunate for Patty. Okay. Yeah, she's going to go down. She actually could have kited that out a decent amount of time because she would have had stun. She flywheels to pallet, vaults pallet, and if she can't make it, she stuns again. Yeah, that, that, that kite should have gone on for at least another 20 seconds, I feel like. Um, but they do have four ciphers done. One's at 44, one's at 6. Uh, but yeah, this, this is the point in the opera game where things get really dicey, right? Because you only... Okay, she did not mean to do that. I know she did not mean to do that. I know that was a mistake. 
Oh, she just went into TP. That's actually smart than... Okay, that's fine. You saw him drop down. Now, now you're fine this time. You're fine this time. Okay. Uh, I somewhat agree with chasing the mercenary. Actually, no, I don't think I do. I, if, I, if I was just opera, I would probably chase the aeroplanist to eliminate their tide. Because the tide would be the thing that buy, buy, buys them a ton of time. I guess what she's doing here is just opting for spread damage. So I can just take the... She can just take the... Does she, does she take it? Does she take it? No, she's mind gaming it. That's that's what I love about Tram is the fact that you don't even know if they're going to take it. So it's kind of just a mind game. But she's watching. She's watching. And she didn't take it. She TP's back though. She TP's out yet yeah, because she's Opera. Opera can just do that. She can just do that. But that Tram bought a good amount of time there. Psych probably would have taken a hit much earlier. There's the first hit. Her blink is back up. But she probably won't blink. She'll probably teleport to Cypher, right? No, no, no. Why are you going for downs? At this point, just put... The, the Cypher's climbing, Opera. Opera. You don't go for a down here. You don't go for a down. You chase the air. You teleport to the aeroplanist and you kill him. That's what I think you do here. Okay. But now, now you chair psychologist and mercenary is already right there. It's too late. Okay. This is what you should have done like 20 seconds ago, Opera. You have to chase with purpose. You don't chase somebody randomly. You chase somebody who's on a cypher and block it off. And now he has hover. Over. See, just Charles, Charles can kite this out. He has jetpacks. He has hover. He has pallets. Like, he's chilling, dude. Charles is actually chilling. Um not gonna drop these pallets dang what the heck oh it does take a hit i was about to say she tried to drop those pallets so long ago dude i would have dropped those pallets right in opera's face my goodness and it looks like they're actually opting to just decode as opposed to uh goes to heal the psychologist which i do agree with she does have to use up her self heal um but the cypher is climbing charles should have his hover he might want to save hover for end game Nope, he's just going to use it now. Yeah, he he knows he needs a little bit more time to buy. And... He's going to go down before the Cypher's ready. Oh, not quiet. It would have been nicer if he just camped in that little area right over there. Maybe he's saving the pallets for endgame or something. I'm not sure. But if you're going to go down, then don't waste your hover. Because by, by the time you go down and she chairs you, the Cypher would have been ready at this point anyway. So I actually disagree with using hover there. Because if you're going to go down anyway, then it doesn't matter. So, yeah, well, I, I would not use my hover there. Cause save, save the hover for endgame. Um, so now Mercenary comes in. He's right here. Yep. And the Cypher has been ready. So, like, the, there was no point. There was just no point. And we're going to have to chase the Mercenary? Uh, ooh, okay, okay. He had BT, but it didn't really uh, didn't really get any extra speed there. Uh, or at least enough speed to escape from a freaking opera singer. My goodness. Yeah, shove him in that chair. Nothing you can do anymore, Merc. Sorry, buddy. That's the bee duck Merc, isn't it? My goodness, he's, he's, he's friends with that freaking cursed duck, isn't he? <laughs> and this is the aeroplaneness on the gate. And yep, you know what would really, really nice to have here, Charles? Your hover. Your hover. Okay, you got jetpack. Jetpack and... Jet Whoa, he snuck in there. He snuck right behind Opera. Um, but now she teleports to the chair. They do get the rest... You. Yep, they do indeed get the rescue. Charles still has to self heal. And at this point, like, you think it's a draw, right? You think? Uh, she thinks his pallet. Good bait, good bait. Good, good bait. Psych, Psych is having some really good mind games here. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay. Honestly, I agree. Even if you fail it, like, at least you're buying time by mind gaming. You're actually you're buying time by mind gaming. Okay, Charles' heal is almost ready. She TPs back. Is she in a chair? You chair, right? You chair? Yeah, you chair. I agree, I agree with sharing. I agree with sharing. Like, you're, you're most likely going to get a draw, because if you keep going back and forth, somebody just stays at middle and just constantly keeps rescuing while the other person just keeps staying on the gate. Um, she's going to actually opt to chair all the way over here so she can get to the gate faster. I'm pretty sure they don't make this gate. They might be able to open it, but I'm pretty sure... Yeah, he can't make it open in time. Okay. Charles. Doesn't vault smart. Oh. And then... Oh, down he goes. Down he goes. They get the rescue, though. They get the rescue. Yep. Charles has no self-heal, neither does Psychologist. Yeah, but they have no items left, they have, and, they're, and they're being pushed away from the gate. They're both being pushed away from the gate. Yep, that gate is at 86, that's pretty darn close. Uh, detention's gonna run out, but it's not really that much of a factor anymore since they're both at low health. Um, the, honestly, the best thing for this for it to happen here is somehow, miraculously, uh, Mercenary kites this out. Uh, then she just, for some reason, goes for the Aeroplanist or something. Okay. Well, he does have he does have uh, delayed damage now since uh, detention ran out, so that's something. Uh, but he still has self heal. Is she gonna go back for Charles? Okay, yeah, yeah, she is. I thought I thought what might happen is uh, Psych could open the gate and then whistle. She would whistle to the mercenary. Uh, teleports to psychologist. Can she make it out in time? She cannot make it out in time. And now now she's forced to share the psychologist. Otherwise, she's gonna she's gonna walk out. Yep. Okay. So no whistle. Uh, at this point, it's actually probably a 4K. It's actually a 4K at this point. 
Uh, cause Mercenary has no items, and she knows where Mercenary is, everybody else has no self heals. Yeah, and Mercenary heals so slowly. That's a 4k! Dang, really? That's a 4k? No way. No way that's a 4k. Okay, I'm actually a little mad that that was a 4k. That should not have been a 4k. That actually should not have been a 4k. I'm actually a little bit upset at that. My goodness. I don't know what happened there. I mean, Opera played it well, don't get me wrong. But that did not feel like it should have been a 4k. I don't know. That really didn't feel like it was supposed to be a 4k. And I don't know why they're just not selfie. Like, just, just surrender it. You know it's over. You know it's over at this point. Yeah, you know it's over. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Psy okay, Psych did have self-heal, but she yeah, she's shared. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Good stuff to Opera, though. Good stuff to Opera. On to round one, second half. It's going to be Opera once again. What a surprise. We've got Gardener, Magician, Coordinator, and Cheese, actually. We got some Cheese Gaming. Let's see some Cheese Gaming. Gravekeeper and your Cheese. How many names can you give him? All the names. <laughs> Every name. <laughs> oh, boy. And the spawns are looking pretty steady. You put Cheese at center. And then you have your kiters kind of around cheese. So Opera's probably gonna spawn in one of the corners. Actually, she's opting to spawn to the left of cheese. This could actually be dangerous because I, I don't think Gravekeeper does that well against Opera Singer. Unless he drops like a ton of pallets and like, you know, shovels underneath the pallets. I don't think he does that well against her. I, I won't even lie. I, d I don't think he does that well. We'll see. And the main reason for that is because his shovel cooldown is pretty long. It is quite long. Uh, so for builds, we're going to see Blink Detention Trump Card on Opera. She's going to have Berserk and Exposed Survivors at Endgame. I still don't know what that freaking thing is called. He did actually drop the pallet, so that's good. That, that's good for Cheese. Hops to the shovel, and now he can camp around this pallet, but he's going to take a hit eventually. Like, he can go down over here, but then he just takes a hit. Um, he gets out of shovel, and then there's not really much that he can do after that because his shovel cooldown is so long. Oh, but they're dropping pallets to help him out. Wait. Oh, but the teammates are helping him out. Yo, because you have to break those pallets if you want to go after cheese. You actually have to. She TPs away. Okay. And he did He did lose his shovel there. He did lose his shovel because it's past the point of uh, uh, of no return or whatever for the shovel. And she does actually get a pretty good hit on the coordinator. And the blink will be up soon. Do we see flare gun? It's too dangerous. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought... Okay, I guess it is an alleyway. There's not really anywhere to go. I thought she was going to wait on it for a bit, but I guess not. Um, AI is predicting a strong chance for a 4K or a draw. And I somewhat agree here. The Cyphers are fine, but Blink is up. Coordinator can come over here. We're going to see Body Block, Body Block. But this one, you just, you just Blink. You just Blink. You just Blink now. Yep. Blink drop down. There we go. That was so obvious, dude. That was actually so obvious. Like, I saw that coming a mile away. On the bright side, they forced out the trait, though. That body, that body Block play did force out the trait. It's just unfortunate that it had to be a Blink drop down, so there's no attack recovery or anything. Uh, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, and the Cyphers, yeah, again, they're, they're pretty equal to last game, honestly. They're actually, like, pretty much in the exact same spot. But uh, the only difference is a lot more items have been used up this time. We lost the coordinator gun. Uh, Cheese lost a shovel. The mage still has decoy. And Gunner still has a uh, bubble and all that good stuff. She's actually going to go for the first rush. We actually do see three tide turners. Um, careful now. Sheesh. Uh, we do see three. Yeah, no, no, just die in a corner. Just die in a corner. We, we do see uh, yeah, three tide turners on this team. Uh, the only one without it is actually the coordinator. So it's probably best that coordinator was the one to be... Uh, to be chaired here, but yeah, now, now you just die all the way over here. This is one of the best places to die on Ever Sleeping Town, um, all the way back in this corner, because there's just no, stop moving. No, Corb, where are you going? Stay in that corner, stay in that corner. That's the best corner, to, the, the best corner is like farther away over there, because there's no chairs. There's usually a middle chair over here. See, now, now she has to, wait, is there a chair right over here? Oh, does she struggle this? No way. See, if you, if you were farther away, you would have struggled, I'm pretty sure. Uh, maybe, oh, maybe, maybe that was, was Basin over there. Maybe, okay, there was a chance for Basin over there. If, if Basin's over there, then I actually agree with Cord's play there. I do agree, but I don't, I don't know if Basin was there. Um, you know, I try, try to avoid getting Basin. Now, Cheese is here. He's got the other shovel. Um, but yeah, again, he, he has, he has Tide as well. And they have a third Tide on the Magician, which is pretty good. You know, it's, it's really good to have a third set of Tide and a little far away with that shovel, but she does hit the shovel. He can get the rescue in time, right? Nope, he's going to take the hit first. Okay. And now they're gonna try and body block it out. The Cyphers aren't ready though. They're not gonna be ready. And it, okay, hold on. That actually hits Cheese. That actually hits Cheese. And now he's like, yep, I'm vault. Oh, he wanted to, I know. He wanted to He wanted to vault back and forth there. He wanted to just vault back and forth, block off the window so Opera couldn't go through it. Um, and Garner should be clipped here. Or sorry, Corner should be clipped. Yeah, she's clipped, she's clipped, she's clipped. She's clipped, she's clipped. Good try there, good try. If, if he was able to just constantly vault back, back and forth, that would've been really good. 
but unfortunately he did not get the play that he wanted. Um, I was even trying to slow vault it up a little bit as well. Maybe even the tram would have helped. The tram would have come like 10 seconds earlier. That would have been like a huge godsend save for the uh, the survivors because then she would be forced to share cheese and it could be a four person end game. Um, but yeah, now this is good. This is good. They got that one star for Prime and now. Uh, oh, hold on. Wait, wait. This is Gardner. She's injured. She's injured. She's actually injured. You can't. This is dangerous. Pop double, pop cipher. Good, good. Yeah, I was saying because she has no, she has no BT. She has no BT, so you gotta be careful. You gotta be. Does she just blink here? Yeah, no way. No way you blink, right? No way you blink. Okay, the third tide has been used up. Nice flywheel. Die in a corner. Die in a corner. Beautiful stuff. Now, does she chair? Does she chair or pressure? She's gonna chair. She's gonna chair. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I do agree. I do agree. You, you, you kind of have to just start putting people in chairs to force people away. Um, but I think at this point, they almost are guaranteed one person to get out, I think? Uh, but Opera does still have teleport, she does still have backflip and all that good stuff. It still is Opera Singer. Um, it could, it could end very similarly to the last game, or, yep. Dude, this, this game is like playing out so- oh, dang! Oh, goes for the blink instead! Goes for the blink! TP's back, TP's back, and is gonna be able to kill Cheese now! Cheese is over here, and she knows- there's Tinnitus, there's Tinnitus, yep. There's Cheese, there's Cheese. Break that pallet. There's no other pallet for uh, for cheese to work with, though. There's no other pallet. He's gonna. Oh, never mind. That pallet is still there. Okay. I thought that. I thought the pallet was gone. Okay. My bad. My bad. My bad. And see ya, cheese. I think that's another 4K, cause Opera is so darn fast. She should be able. To... Well, Magician should be able to self heal in time. If he can waste enough time with with wands, he might be okay. Hold on. They might be able to do this still. Cheese might be able to. I don't think he can self heal and uh, rescue Gunner. I think I don't think he'll be able to do that in time. Uh, but he should be able to self heal and potentially get one person out here. Potentially, it depends on this magician kite. Oh, she's actually gonna opt to TP back to Cheese instead. Interesting. Um, well, at this point, you've pretty much given up the 4K, uh, right? No. Oh, she just didn't want Gunner getting saved. Okay, this should be a one escape though. This should be a one escape. Um, yeah, they're both on the gate. Yeah, that, that's a guaranteed one escape. That's a guaranteed one escape. Yep. Because you go after you go after Mage here, and then Cheese just gets out. And they're going to waste time by getting on Tram. Tram, 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 Tram. Oh! Ah, oh, bro! Ah, oh, bro! You had to commit or something. Oh, wait, he gets dungeon. That's a tie? That's a draw because he gets dungeon! Oh, my gosh. Opera. Oh, Opera. Oh my gosh, Opera. That was yikes. <laughs> that was that was definitely an end game, that's for sure. My goodness. Now we're moving on to round two uh first half. We're going to see Antiquarian, Charles, Mercenary, and she that are going up against the Nightwatch. Okay. Interesting. We haven't seen a ton of Nightwatch uh game plan call. He's, he's like decently common, but there there have been other characters that have been a lot more common than him. Opera was of course banned, so there's no operas. But I, I do like this survivor comp. This is a pretty uh, a pretty interesting survivor comp. Chilliter has some good synergy with this team, especially with Antiquarian and Charles, mainly Charles. Uh, Mercenary for safe rescuing. Antiquarian versus Nightwatch is a classic matchup. I'm curious to see how this game is going to go. Of course, VF does indeed need, uh, they do need a 4K to catch up. We're going to see uh, Blink Detention, Trump Card, Fast Pallet Break, and Berserk as the build for the Night Watch. And as for the builds for Survivors, we're going to see Borrow Time, Knee Jerk on the Cheerleader, who is actually going to take the kite here. We got Tide and Knee Jerk. Uh, oh, Tide and Knee Jerk on the Aeroplanus in round two. Usually that's more of a round one kind of build. Uh, borrow Time, Tide on Mercenary, of course. What else would you run? And then Borrow Time, Knee Jerk on the Antiquarian. So no, no flywheels to be seen. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's pretty interesting to. Uh, to run no BT in round two, it's it's somewhat common, but on aeroplane it's not necessarily. Usually, usually I see that kind of stuff more on um, so something something like a batter, an embalmer, a painter. I guess painters only really come out in round two. Oh, Lily, you're gonna have to use that second beep beep. Oh no, she already used it. She already used it. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a free hit. Yeah, night, this night was just very aggressive, using all his wind for like one very small instance. I guess that's kind of true. I, I'm a little more conservative with the wind, but the thing is, he also has blink. He also has blink. Where he can you just blink right down? You can just blink right here. No, nope, breaking line of sight. You can't really use blink until you have like a, a, a surefire uh, target. Dang, he's so aggressive with it. Just using up all of his wind. Jeez. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And now you use wind, but she has beep beep. Beep beep. Oh, good blink though. Good blink. 
Beautiful blink. Didn't exactly have like 100% line of sight there, but had a good idea of where she wanted to go since that pallet was still dropped. Good stuff, good stuff. Forced out the blink, two cyphers are done, one at 70. Yeah, that, that was a good kite from the trailer. That was a great kite. A good kite indeed. Um, now Nightwatch has no trait. I, I think, I, I don't know. I, I guess it's just because he has blink, he's able to be a bit more aggressive with the uh, the win. Oh, Charles, that's early, isn't it? That's way too early. Charles, what the heck, bro? Charles, you are way too early. You could have you waited like a solid, I don't know, another five seconds at least. Sheesh, dude. And yo, you gotta be careful now, bro. He's gonna try and double down you. Oh, that's a double down, bro. That's a double down. Charles. Oh boy, and now Nightwatch is at full prez. Yep. Uh, I guess he has a good idea where the cheerleader went. Um, well, I guess it can't really go after the cheerleader necessarily, but yeah, he can he can share Charles here. And are we just completely off the cheerleader now? Because the mercenary is here. High key, I would just hit mercenary, let him get the rest and go go back and try and find the cheerleader. No. He, oh, he's completely on the mercenary now, or the the, the aeroplanist. Um. I mean, I guess I kind of agree because the ciphers are a little bit slow, but I feel like this isn't going to be that good because Tide Turner is a thing. And this time, Mercenary should leave, so they can't double down. We're going to see Jetpack, Jetpack, yeah, one jet, Jetpack one, Jetpack two, Jetpack three. Oh, Jetpack actually just completely ignores wind. And Palette Mind Game. Oh, Charles taught him some respect, though. He doesn't care about his slow break or his slow dropping pallet speed. He does not care. And he should be dead here. He should be. I, I think the best play for Charles to do there was to uh, try and do the trick where you vault the same pallet that Nightwatch uh, vaulted while he was fast. It doesn't always work. It's honestly a bit of a 50-50 if it works or not. Um, but I, I would have liked to see him try and maybe do that. Because uh, then he could have transitioned to the uh, the other pallet. Because uh, he didn't really have anything to work with there. So that's what I would have done if I was uh, if I was Charles. I would have gambled on the 50-50 because otherwise you're, you're dead anyway. So just gamble on the 50-50 or die. So I, I would always take the gamble. Uh, but yeah, again, at this point, it doesn't really matter. Chiller has already... Chiller actually used up her self-heal. Hmm. But yeah, him, him getting cutted out by the Chiller early game and then not really having anything here for uh, late game could be not great because he's looking for a 4K. Like, it, this is most likely just a draw, though. That's the thing. It's mostly a draw. And there's still Antiquarian support as well. He's going to actually up TP onto the Chiller. This is actually really good. This is really good. I completely agree. He knows that everybody is here. And now the Chiller just goes down. We used a beep beep too. He forced out a beep beep and still hit her. That's really good. That is really good stuff. They are going to be back on that Cypher though. Cypher is at 35 and counting up. But now what happens here is Antiquarian comes in for the rescue and can just support with the flute. Yep, here she is. And uh, this this should still be a draw though. This is still a draw. Like, I do agree. It was a good to get the chiller down really that fast. Yo, Antiquarian, what are you doing? What is she doing all the way over here? Can she even make this rescue? No, she can't. She can just barely though, just barely. And then we see flip one and hit two, misses. Down anti do down she goes, down she goes. But it, it's okay though, cause it's not Lily. It's not Lily. So now, now they gotta bring somebody else in here. Yep, Merc's already on the way. Aeroplane's gonna finish the cipher. Cheerleader is here. They're all like damaged, dude. This is going how my average rank match is going, where I just keep hitting other people, having to constantly share this like different people over and over and over again. Like I have so much map presence, and then they just pop the cipher, and then I just lose. Like, it's going to be a four-person endgame, dude. It's actually going to be a four-person endgame, which is so unfortunate. It is so unfortunate. There we go. And, yeah, that's that's it, dude. That's it. That's going to be it. Yep, hit Antiquarian here. Uh, hit her. And then what Antiquarian should do, she just... No, she's actually going to get distance. Okay. Um, I thought she would just stay there and uh, just hit with the flute. But, yeah, I guess it's fine, too. Because as long as you get Nightwatch in a good position, you can just keep hitting him with the flute. And, uh... Actually, we're going to see him chase the mercenary for some reason who hasn't even been on the chair. Oh, buddy. Night watch. Oh, night watch. Okay, now now, now he's going to go after Antiquarian, but the, the dungeon's right over there, bro. Oh, no, dude. Oh, no. Night watch is getting schmixed. Oh, no. This, this, this is it. That's it. That's it. Nope. Unless he teleports right here. Unless he teleports now. Yep, he has to teleport absolutely right now. But mercenary. Mercenary could elbow pad past him. He should actually elbow pad. No, Antiquarian's on the gate. He has two. Just use your elbow pads, bro. You have enough distance. That's a four-person escape. Oh, my gosh. I can't watch this, bro. This set's over. This set's over. What is he even doing? How the heck did he still have tinnitus? He still had tinnitus for a while. What the heck was that? How on earth did he still have tinnitus? Bro, Mercenary was like halfway across the map. How on earth did he have tinnitus? Oh, my gosh. See that? This, this kind of stuff happens to me as Nightwatch all the time, bro. Because you just constantly are forced to switch targets. Yeah, dude. With Nightwatch, if you if you switch targets, bro, that's what happens. You have to tunnel down, bro. 
Switching targets as Night Watch, it's just, it's too difficult, bro. It's too difficult. I would know. I've done it so many times in rank. It's rough, bro. It's, it's rough. <laughs> yeah, the thing is they needed a 4K uh, to catch up, and that was a 0K, a 4 escape. I think GBB just takes this. There's just no way, dude. Now it's time for round two. Second half, we're going to see Auburban. It's going to be Coordinator, Nort, Mercenary, and Cheater going up against a Sculptor? Wait, was did Rami play Sculptor before? I can't remember. No, I can't remember. Um, but it looks like VF is bringing out, um, you know, the Harasser. They, they are going to need some Harassers to potentially get this uh, 4 escape here. They need a 4 escape to catch up, or else I'm pretty sure... The set just ends right here. But what's interesting is I don't think I agree with the Sculptor pick here because unless you're like really good at Sculptor, it's probably not the correct play. Uh, Cause I feel like you wanna just, you know, play something like Disciple or Bomb Bomb where you just, you know, just snag your draw and then keep your lead. But you know, maybe they're just a goaded Galatea. We'll just have to see. Uh, let's see, the build is going to be Insolence and Detention. Okay, okay, stronger early game Detention for to secure it down, yeah. I mean, as long as the Sculptor secures like even a 1K, honestly, just don't get four escapes. You'll like you'll still have your you still have your leave if you get four escape, but like, you know, just get like a killer too. That's all you really need. Like you don't have no pressure on you this game. Just 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 play it, just play it well. Just play it well. Don't get impatient, just play it well. Don't play for like any 4Ks or anything. Just just play well. Go for the draw. And and you're good. And you're good. Um, the builds for the survivors are going to be borrow time, tied on the mercenary. We're going to see borrow time, flywheel on literally everybody else. Interesting. Uh, I wonder why they all have flywheel. What the heck were they expecting? Um, because I know Nidrick is better for Bon Bon, Nidrick is better for Disciple, or I feel like, I feel like Nidrick is also better for a Sculptor. I feel like Flywheel is not as good versus Sculptor than Nidrick because, well, there's the gun. Okay, why, I, like how, do you like, I like how she tried to turn around to try and potentially avoid it. That's kind of goofy. Um, but this is not the worst start of all time for the, uh, for the serves. Cord Gun was used already. Uh, Blink is up. Insolence is charging, and you literally... Oh, my... Oh, my gosh, and you're dead. Blink, see ya. That's so unfortunate. You gotta pay attention, Cord. You gotta pay attention. Like, why'd you run toward the pallet when you clearly saw that Sculptor was also heading to it? I don't really know what the game plan there was. That was that was kind of goofy. Like, you, you miss your flywheel, you get hit, and then boom. That's it. And the thing is, I don't know why they missed the flywheel, because high, okay, high key, high key, top players, I don't think you should be missing your flywheels against a Galatea, because her attack speed is so reactable. Unless it's like, unless it's like coming in with like a barrage of statues, like if there's like tons of statues and like the attack is coming, sure. But if it's just the attack, like, I don't know, dude. Like it's so reactable, I feel like. I don't know, maybe maybe the core was just panicking a little bit. She's probably just panicking a little bit. Uh, kind of a jank looking elbow pout, but it looks like it's gonna get the job done here. Now you just put out the statues. Look out, look out, bro. Okay, nice. Oh, no, he actually, he took a, he took a basic hit. He took a basic hit, Not no statue hit. He took no statue hit. Um, oh, getting shoved away from that window. Dude, I hate it when the sculptures do that. I, I, I would honestly rather get hit by a sculpture than have it freaking shove me, bro. Oh, I hate it when that happens. It's very annoying. Um, and it looks like we're just gonna see her die in a corner. Yep, and now that now that tide, now she's to waste out tide. That's that's one good thing about sculpture is even when tide is a thing, she can still uh she can still pressure down ciphers and whatnot while she uh, has to wait for tide. Uh, there aren't many characters that can do it, but do that. But you know, like something like Fool's Gold, uh, Sculptor, anybody who can like hit from far away, like like Mad Eyes. There's, there's a good amount of uh, characters that can just pressure down the ciphers while they're waiting for you know tide to end while they're camping the chair. It's, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice having ways to pressure on ciphers. Um, and yeah, speak, speaking of ciphers, the ciphers aren't looking... Uh, I was going to say they're not looking too bad, but actually, no, I take that back. They're not looking great. Like, there is progress, yes, but I just don't think it's good enough. And they're actually going to opt to sell here. No, they can't They can't make that in time. There's no way they can make that in time. There's no way. You got to risk the Terra Shock. There's statues. He flywheels. He actually gets it? What? Okay, I'm actually generally surprised. I'm generally surprised because I feel like you just swing and then get the Terra Shock there. Okay, Magnet, Magnet, Magnet. Stun. Why would you repel? Why would you repel? Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. The support. The support. Cheerleader, Stacks, Norton, Harassment. That hits the cheerleader. That hits the cheerleader. Norton. Ooh, good stun. Stun's on the little pumpkin. Stun's on the little pumpkin. Okay. But blink, but blink. And, and there's... St okay, she doesn't actually have... She has no statues. She has no statues. It's going to be up to Mercenary. It's going to be up to Mercenary to decode, bro. The Mercoder, bro. The Mercoder is real. Um, and we're going to see a blink probably forced out here, though. 
Okay, 21, 22, 24. Oh, blink. I knew it, dude. I knew it. That's why Chiller is so good because she can force out trait. I mean, yeah, it does get the down, but no trait for endgame now. That's why Chiller is so good. I've seen so many times where Hunters will just use their trait to counter Cheerleader. Oh my gosh, it was almost at 20. It was like, what, 26 or something? So close, dude. And that thing is, again, you have your flywheel. If you flywheeled there, you would have got to 28. You gotta use those flywheels. Like, if you see her blink, you know the hit's coming soon. You can react to it, dude. You gotta react. Like, it, when it's something like a sculptor hit, it's so easy, I feel like. Like, I, I love fighting Sculptors when I have Flywheel because I can react to her attack on, like, Nyad. If it's something like a Nyad or, like, a Gamekeeper or a Smiley, I can't freaking react to that. That's fast. But a freaking Galatea? Yes, I can. My goodness, dude. Oh! No, Art! Why don't you just pop? No, Art! Oh, my gosh. VF. I don't understand. Like, you gotta... Ugh. And Mercenary gets chipped down, too. That's... Yikes. This this Galatea is cooking. I thought they would, I thought she'd just go for a draw. Like, in, in an instant, the entire team fell apart. Like, she got the blink, and then she got the statue hit on the cheerleader, and she goes down. And then Nord just goes down because he's sitting at the Cypher and not pressing, even though he knows Galatea is on the way. Like, what was the game plan? What was the actual game plan? Like, if you know she's coming, you just pop. I don't understand. It was clearly primed. I just don't understand. I really don't. And I don't know why she's pushing for this 4K either. I don't know why she just didn't share the mercenary. Like, high key, just share that. Because now he teleports, or he elbow pads, he gets the rescue, and then they just pop the cypher. Yeah, I don't, I actually don't know. I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know why. Like, you share the mercenary, and then it's, and then it's a guaranteed 3K. Now you're now you put yourself in a draw position. Like, why are you pushing for a 4K when you only need a draw, or even a 1K? Like, I don't know, dude. I, I don't I don't think it was the correct move to chase the cheerleader. I think the best move was to chair the mercenary, and then you just you just camp both chairs, or you just camp the chair and the cipher, and then if cheerleader rescues mercenary, you just chip him down with statues again. Because now you might actually have a three-person escape on your hands. Cheerleader has two beep beeps and a flywheel. Like, there's a solid chance. Oh, but Blink is about to be back up. There's Blink. Hold on. There's Beep Beep. No, she's heading for the gate. Never mind. She's heading for the dungeon. Never mind. She's heading for the gate. Where are you going, cheerleader? Where are you going? There's a dungeon. There's a dungeon. Watch out for the Blink, though. Watch out for the Blink. Here comes the Blink. And no flywheel. It's so obvious. Like, it's so obvious. Just flywheel. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe not that Blink because it's a little hard to react to, but man... I would have at least tried to flywheel there. My goodness, and that's it for GBB. A draw, again, a draw was all they need. A draw was actually all they need there. My goodness. That that was kind of an unfortunate set. I can't even lie. That was kind of an unfortunate set. Like, they all brought flywheel in for what? Like, I don't think I saw one successful flywheel that whole game. Oh, boy. At that point, just bring Niger because at least it's more consistent. Like, flywheel, yes, does absolutely save games. It can mean the difference between a, a, a freaking win or a draw or a lose or whatever. But, like, it's also kind of inconsistent. So if you're not that, and if you're not ready to bring the fly, if you're not ready to react, just go knee-jerk. I don't know. Now, we're on to the next set. We are going to be watching Cat versus DB. It's Opera Singer once again because it is round one. Uh, we're going to see Psychologist, Antiquarian, Mercenary, and Painter. Uh, it's, it's interesting to see uh, Psychologist come out round one. Also interesting to see, I guess, Antiquarian and Painter. This is not necessarily a full opera comp team or anything. Uh, Psych kind of goes down. I mean, Psych has come up before, Antiquarian's come up before, Painter's come up before, but you don't really see them all together too often. They are going to spawn in the standard spots. Opera's actually not, not opt to not chase the Painter, which is uh, probably not what she wants. She probably, or they probably want the Painter to take the kite here. Um, and I wonder who they're going to have double tied on, because you run full kite build painter. There's no way of tides on psych, right? There's no way. Here we go. Round one, first half. And now we did we did see a pretty good showing from Cat when we watched them last. Let's see how this time goes. We are going to see full kite build on the painter, as expected. Uh, the opera is going to be bringing blink detention, trump card, fast palette break, wanted order, and, um, and panic. And yeah, as for the survivors, it's uh, borrow time, knee jerk on psych, full kite build on painter. Oh, that was a that was a trade. That was a trade. Unfortunate. Uh, we got borrowed time flywheel on Antiquarian, and then borrowed time tied on Mercenary. So no, we're gonna see. We are actually not going to see um, any double tied, which is interesting. 
I guess they must be pretty confident in their kiting abilities, even though they just took a hit there. Second stop hasn't activated, so now she's all the way at third stop, which is why we don't really see operas spawn here too often, because now their first chase target can get a lot of distance here. And she might even uh, uh, might even have to be forced to switch targets. How the heck is the Mercenary Cypher only at 13%? Oh, because he, he was the one who, yep, okay, uh, never mind. He was the one who probably turned on the, uh, the second stop right from the very start. Uh, I see. I feel like the Cyphers are way too far behind though. Look at these, these Cyphers kind of suck. Like, I, okay, I understand the Mercenary Cypher, but how the heck are the Painter, or painter slash it, whoever Cypher it is, how is one person Cypher so far behind, like only at freaking 20? Like what What happened there? What actually happened? Sykes gonna take a hit here. What? Huh? Yo, Opera's hitbox, okay, she just blinks there. Wait, I disagree with that. I actually disagree with that. Um, I feel like you, you would want to just get the hit there afterwards and then blink down. Oh, we're buying some time here, buying some time so I can vault this. Th this right this right here like almost guarantees like, you, like if you just vault, if you drop the pallet, good pallet drop. This, this loop right here guarantees you to buy like at least 20 seconds. Like unless the hunter uses their ability or something, it guarantees so much time. And Painter, can you memorize the hunter's face? Good flywheels, see there's the flywheels that we need. Um, it's probably gonna take a hit here. Yep, does take a hit, but he does have the Hunter's face memorized, and now Painter is taking the kite. It's it, They're off the Psychologist, which is good. The, the pressure is relieved, and it's now onto the Painter, um, who she is not going to chase. She lost her Psych. She lost her Psych. Yup, she lost her Psych. You gotta chase that Painter now. Oh boy, this is what they want, dude. This is what they want, because now he has petting to buy time. He can go to four stop and loop it a little bit. Yup, this is looking really good for the survivors now. This is looking really, really good for the survivors. Losing the Psychologist, actually. Painting drop, beautiful stuff. Oh, we're taking Coaster? Are we actually taking Coaster? Nope, oh, he just, okay. Yeah, I agree, because by the, by the time you take Coaster and you're going up as Opera Singer, she can get to four stop and you're just dead. Like, you're, you're basically just dead at that point, okay. We're gonna see him go up to the slide. Does not actually slide down, yep, no, 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 he's not gonna fall for that. No, nope, look at it. <laughs> Oh, that's goofy. Well, we got to drop out drop drop painting. Oh What? Dude, she swung at him and the painting interrupted it and then she disrespects the pallet Nah, I would have gone behind the pallet at least a little bit. My goodness. They're actually double They're doubling up the tent cypher. They're gonna pressure down that cypher, but out mercenary mercenary should come out early Yep, expose yourself early because now the psych the psychologist is there Psych Yo, you're at half health. Get the heck out of there. I know you want to finish that Cypher, but you're going to give Opera a double down here. Oh, psych. No. What are you doing? She's going to chase you now. We got Knee Jerk and... Oh, okay. Is she completely on the Psych now? Uh-oh. She's completely on the Psych now. Uh-oh. Dude, the dashes are so good, but Psych has that freaking Knee Jerk. She's so fast with it. My goodness. The fastest Ada you've ever seen. Oh! Yo! This psych! Yo! Oh, she has no vaulting. She has no vaulting buff this time. But, 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 but how? Okay, finally goes down. Jeez, man! That was such a good kite. And that's it! That's it! That's a four person endgame guaranteed, because this is her first chair! Dang, dude, never mind, psych. I was unfamiliar with the game. Sheesh! No blink, bro. No blink has even been used. I oh, know it was used a long time ago. That's right. I forgot about that. Um, okay, so now, Sight, you just... What the? Mercenary? Now? Why are we on the mercenary now? Oh, because he had to pop the Cypher. Never mind. Okay, I was about to be like, what the heck? I thought they finished that Cypher already. Okay, so that, that Cypher's probably... Oh, jeez! Oh, no! Not the Miss Blink! Oh, no, not the Miss Blink. Wait, Mercenary has elbow pads. Oh my gosh. There's no way he makes it, right? No, he doesn't. Oh! Elbow pad? Oh my gosh, no way. No, he doesn't make it. He doesn't make it. He doesn't make it. He does not 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 make it. Psych should make this. She should make this. Yes, 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 yes. She makes it. Hello? No! What did you do? Why did you do that? Just run out! What? Was she? Okay, I, I know what she tried to. I think she tried to cancel. Like, she crawled to cancel the stunt, like, the movement. Okay, but what? Just run out. You make that. You make that. Nah, you make that, psych. Oh, you made that guaranteed. I don't know why she tried to, like, 
crouch cancel or whatever. I don't know what happened there. Nah. Nah, dude. You made that guaranteed if you just ran. There's no way I would have to go up and then back in. Oh my gosh, now the survivors are getting greedy. They're probably upset that Psych didn't make it out. They wanted that 3%. They had a draw guaranteed right there, and they're throwing it away. They're throwing away their draw. There's one. Okay, two. Flywheel. Well, okay, again, again. Wait, they get the rest of you, though. They oh, wait, Psych dies, but they get the mercenary out. But it's still a draw. It's still a draw. Oh, man, you guys got kind of greedy. I completely disagree with the Psych there at the ending, though. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't have got hit. I'm pretty sure she didn't get hit. Like, she crouched, dude. She freaking crouched. She was right there. Oh, I don't agree with whatever Psych did there. I'm pretty sure she just made it out. I'm pretty sure she just made it out there. Oh, boy. Well, they got a draw. I mean, a draw is still good. Don't get me wrong. A draw is still great. But you definitely want to do a three-person escape there. Onward to round one, second half. We're going to see probably the most standard opera comp set up here. We got Gardner, Mercenary, Aeroplanist, and coordinator and it's gonna be wax wait i feel like didn't cat do this last time i think they used wax instead of opera i'd rather watch opera bro i would honestly rather watch opera yeah but last time we saw um cat play uh wax artist on this map as well it went really well for them i'm pretty sure i don't i don't i think it was 4k i'm pretty sure it was 4k um yeah th this team doesn't do as well against wax artists but uh i think it's actually a pretty similar team comp as well yeah let's let's see how this one goes now if you are unfamiliar with my channel you know that i really dislike wax artist um i, I really dislike watching him mainly he's going to be running insulin detention uh fast pallet break and the, the cypher ceiling uh, little ability there but yeah, I, I absolutely despise watching this character um i used to think bonbon was the lamest hunter in the game but then i saw fav yami's bonbon and that bonbon was actually really cool to watch but every time i've seen a wax artist play all I feel is just kind of sadness, dude. All I feel is sadness. Like, it just feels like so many things that just are in the game are just like, that shouldn't be a thing. That shouldn't be a thing. Like, that's how I feel against Waxers whenever I see him. Uh, did he actually take the coaster? It looks like he did take the coaster. Um, yep, he's all up there. And he can actually start waxing while he's on the coaster. Is that a thing? He actually, it actually is a thing. Dang. That is actually a thing. My goodness. Uh, I have no idea what the coordinator... Look, well, look at the coordinator is doing. Look at the bottom left. She's just sitting there. What the heck? What is she doing? Just sitting there wasting time. My goodness. Okay, we're just gonna opt to switch onto the gardener here. Her bubble is about to pop. Yeah, it, do, it does pop right, right, right on now. Um, yeah, and I, I don't really, I don't really like uh, gardener versus wax artist because gardener does have the bubble, which is really nice. But you have to stand still to get the bubble, right? And you know what happens when you stand still against wax artist? You give him freaking wax. And now he just waxes you off right here. Yup. And then guess what? You should be no. Okay, I guess that dropping the pelt there was actually really smart. It was really smart. Oh my goodness. And now you have bubble, you have bubble. She actually does get bubble off. She actually does get bubble off. But he's gonna he's gonna finish wax. Boom, right as the right as the bubble's gonna go away. Down she goes. I love wax artists. I love wax artists. I think he's so cool. I think he's so cool. Oh boy. I can't I can't lie. He's a, he's a good wax artist. Like he's playing it what he's playing while he's doing what he has to do. I just really don't like him, man. I really don't like his playstyle. It's just, it's so samey. It's just the same stuff over and over and over again. Like, it doesn't feel like his game plan ever changes, you know? Like, it never really adapts. It just feels like it's always just point and click. That's it. Like, yeah, there are some tricks that you can do where you just keep the person at, like, 80, 90 wax before you hit them. So you can get the, just hit wax and then, you know, catch up to them immediately. It kind of just makes, like, those speed boosts that survivors get after getting hit kind of irrelevant against a wax artist. I just don't like how fundamentally, like... He just kind of not, not breaks the game, but it's like how, how he locks off fundamentals, right? Where it's like, oh, you get a speed boost, so you can transition. Oh, against wax stars? No, because he puts you at 80 to 90 wax, then he wax bombs you, and then boop, haha, no. Um, or that he can wax off ciphers that are primed, uh, that he can wax off freaking windows and pallets. It's like he just he just kind of like temporarily halts the fundamentals uh, of the game, and that's just kind of annoying to me. Um, Okay, does he spot out the mercenary? He does not with the wax. He's trying to probably just throwing out the wax to see if he can spot out somebody here. He is constantly getting fed tinnitus, and are they are they even gonna rescue? Is the question. I feel like they should to at least burn tide. He's leaving. Mercenary should elbow pad down in that dungeon or that that, that basement right now. Please tell me he's rescuing. Please tell me he has to rescue. Please, they're just not even. He was right there. He was right there. 
You were right. You just elbow pad like twice and get into the dungeon and then boom. Oh boy. Oh, I don't. I don't agree with that. I feel like you at least want to farm off Tide, and now he has to hover to get away. And guess what? It doesn't matter because Wax Artist doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. No distance matters against this character because he just shoots Wax. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yep, Charles only got one more jetpack. And the Cyphers are behind. They are so far behind. Oh boy. Breaking line of sight, trying to break line of sight. It's just, it's so hard to break line of sight on this map, man. Oh, that is a mistake. That is 100% a mistake. And guess what? If they, if they let Charles die here, they lose one of their tide turners. They're going to lose one of their tide turners here. Shove him in that chair. Mercenary does at least still have his tide turner since he didn't rescue the gardener. So that's at least something. Um... And Coordinator does, still does have the Flare Gun, which could be helpful toward Endgame or something. But yeah, Coordinator has a debuff of decoding while somebody's on the chair. And what they do here is they wait this out. So they don't even have the full decoding effect. So obviously, Extra Decoding is active, but it's basically, you know, counterbalanced by the 25% uh, decoding debuff right here. Oh my! What? Nah! 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 That didn't hit. That He's freaking hacking, bro. That doesn't hit. And there's Hot Wax. Bro, bro, that doesn't hit. There's no way. He was freaking hitting the wall there. I you know, Do you know how many times where I've swung sort of at a wall, just slightly at a wall as Nightwatch in rank until I like, tried to you know, prevent rescue, similar to that, and I never hit? Or I, uh, it's just, it's uh, many times. I can't hit around corners for the life of you. Wax artists apparently can? What is that, man? What is that? He was clearly still like at the wall, like in the midpoint. He was not on the other side of the wall yet. Jeez. Okay, that's good though. That's good. That is good. Uh, they do actually pop the cipher there. The gun is gonna be so important here. You have to shoot him from a distance, otherwise he's gonna wax you off, and it won't matter. No, you did it again, man. You did. I mean, I guess she avoids hot wax trick by doing that. But gosh, I freaking hate that stupid ability, man. Why can he do that? Why? 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 Why is that a thing? Like, it shouldn't be a thing. It's so dumb. Like, that's what I mean by just temporarily, like, breaking the fundamentals of the game. You have harassment tools. Guess what? You get waxed anyway. Ah. Uh, like, he's one of the characters that you get punished for being good. Like, you, you, you pallet slam him, which pallet slams aren't exactly the easiest thing to get in the world. Because with a good amount of time, you just trade. And here comes hot wax. Boop and boop. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I just, I just, I just don't like Wax Artist, man. And now Mercenary has no self heal. The Cypher is at 85. So high key, whatever Cypher it is, just finish it. Just finish. It. Unless, no, okay. The, the one, it's, it's over on this side of the map. It's over on this side of the map. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, Cord should probably dig up a chest here or something. She actually did already get a, a, a syringe. But she should maybe try and find, like, I don't know. Ideally, your best item to get would be, like, a pocket watch or something. Oh, at this point, he's just checking the other end the entire map. Okay, he finally has tinnitus. I skipped ahead a little bit. Finally has tinnitus. And is probably going to catch her out any second now. Yup, there's the game. She finds an elbow pad, but it won't matter because it's Wax Artist. Oh, she's actually able to vault that. That's interesting. Um, there's elbow pad. But again, you would need to kite out like two and a half minutes and also get to dungeon while avoiding Wax this whole time. Like, it's not happening. It's not just use your Wax bomb, bro. You have it. Hot wax trick, hot wax. Oh, he doesn't get the hot wax. Yeah, let's go. But he still has, bro. This character is so stupid, man. This character is actually so stupid. That's so dumb. Uh, that's dumb. That's dumb. All right, I can't even lie. I mean, he played well. He played well. I can't lie. I'm not gonna say he played bad or anything. I just, man. It's not, it's not player hate, it's freaking character hate, bro. I just don't like Wax Artist, man. I just really don't like Wax Artist. Good stuff to Team Cat, though. They, they played it well, I can't even lie. Good stuff to them. Onward to round two, we're going to see Aeroplanist, Patient, Coordinator, and Dancer. Uh, we do see that the exact same Hunter STNK. Is that supposed to be Stink? <laughs> wax Artist stinks. Uh, but they, they could play Wax here. They, but the thing is, they ban Opera, so I don't know if they play Wax here. I, I, I think Wax is probably okay on Leo's. I mean, Factory could be annoying for him, maybe. God Kite could be annoying. Tripod could be annoying. And so could Shaq. So I, I actually don't know about this one. I actually don't know if you play Wax on this one. Oh, great. It's going to be Wax Artist again, man. Uh, 
It's gonna be wax again. Yay. Spawns are looking pretty standard. Actually, I disagree with the Aeroplanus and Patient spawn. I'd rather have them swapped. The thing is, Aeroplanus is probably gonna kind of gonna care, unless he's a kite build Aeroplanus. If Patient has Tide and Aeroplanus has kite build, then I agree with this placement, but they, those two should be swapped if Aeroplanus has Tide. Because he could just chase the Aeroplanus, they lose their like one best, like they lose their rescuer there, and then that's that's gonna be rough. That, that could be really rough for this team. Let's see what it's gonna be. Uh, the Aeroplanus does have Tide. And the patient also has tied. Okay, never mind. The patient also has tied. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. So, so bar, bar time tied on both uh, patient and aeroplanist. We're gonna see bar time knee jerk on coordinator, and then bar time flywheel on the dancer. Interesting. They have flywheel on the dancer, huh? Okay. And it looks like the 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 wax build is going to be the same as last time. Patient can use hook to get up there. Yes. There we go. Good. Good. Securing distance. Good. Securing distance. Did force out a hook pretty early, and it's just opting to switch targets now. So. Um, yeah, that, that's that's the thing, dude. You can just pressure down, pressure, just pressure freaking uh, people down with wax, and they're basically forced to use their ability, so they don't know if you're gonna commit to them or not. And if they don't use their ability, they're just gonna get freaking wax off, and then he commits to you. So that's another thing about wax stars. He forces out items so early just by shooting wax at you, even if he's super far away, because this is like, does he commit to me? Does he not commit to me? And it's it's completely based off of you, so he can just easily waste items. Because like if if a patient used the hook there, he could have just chased the patient, right? He would have just chased the patient. He's gonna actually opt to just teleport to somebody who was this the this is the coordinator actually. Hi key, just shoot him. Just freaking shoot him. Just shoot him now. Shoot him now. Shoot him now. Shoot him now. Don't shoot him while you have okay. No, stop doing that! Stop shooting him when you're at 80 wax! You freeze! You get no distance! Ah, uh, that's the third time I've seen them do that against wax artists. Against the same wax artists. It's happened every freaking time. Ah, uh, like shoot him before, because whenever you, whenever he gets stunned nearby, he got 25 accumulated wax for free. 25. Oh my gosh, she's at 96. And now she just, he just wax bombs. Oh, but the fact that he gets in the way. And she body blocks the wax. Hold on, the support. The support! Pallet slam that guy! Yes! Smack that wax artist! Okay. If it wasn't for the dancer, bro, this this cord was dead. She was dead, dude. Oh, boy, I mean, she's still gonna die. She, she is still gonna die here real soon. But all because of that dancer support, the kite is lasting longer. It did break one slow box. Uh, there's the wax bomb. She should be dead here. Can she go to this pallet? Drop pallet, drop pallet. Nope. Well, at least, eh, eh, yo, get off that cipher. Oh, okay, never mind. You're about to finish it. Hey, no, what? Get off the cipher. He's just gonna wax it off. He's just gonna wax it off and then pressure you down. He has wax bomb. He just wax bomb cipher. No, no, okay. Now you're transitioning. Now you're transitioning. Okay, this actually isn't as bad as last game because they have two cyphers done. One at 76. One at 39. Uh, they did use up a decent amount of the items though. Airplane only has one jetpack. Uh, Patient only has two hooks. Coordinator and is out of items and there's still two boxes in factory. Yeah, I mean, they do have the double tide. The, the double tide is what's gonna be coming coming closer. There we go, good stuff from the patient, yes. Patient, let's go. Patient's probably really good against wax artists because he can secure a distance pretty well. Uh, but at this point, yeah, you, you just you just walk away, just walk away and let her go down, let her just die. Don't die in your factory though, I disagree, die in your factory, but you're gonna die anyway. Because now, now, yep, see, now he can just do all he wants. He just does all he wants, yep. Because like, I feel like if you die in factory, he just can break all the boxes. I feel like you want those boxes to stay there as long as possible. Yeah. Um, dying out over here is probably fine. Uh, he's going to chair right over here. He might actually go break the box in factory. I'm not sure. He might. Depending on if he gets red tonight, it's like immediately. He actually does have tonight's immediately. Okay, so now he probably won't go. He's probably not going to go break the boxes yet. But he can't wax out the cypher. Yep. And that was the one that... Actually, I don't know what one that was. I don't know if that was an 89 or 41. Um, and it looks like they have their Earl is going to come on in here. He does have Tide still. At this point, you, you can you can easily draw this. You should easily be able to draw this from this point. Because you... Oh, I don't know if he should have hovered on in. Actually, no, I do agree with hovering on in because you get there faster and you avoid hot wax. The thing is, you have to at least get the rescue. Because res rescuing against a full presence wax artist is like super cringe, bro. It's super cringe. He's going to hot wax him. Yup. There we go. Disables hot wax, actually? Why? You could have just hot waxed down the freaking court at that point. Oh, he wants to block him? What? Why is airplane is nearby? Okay, I don't, I don't know why he was nearby. I don't know what the... Was he, was he trying to wax him off so he couldn't heal stall? Was that the reason? Dancer, what are you even doing here? Court's dead. Why are you even here? Dungeon is here. 
Oh, good getting off the Cypher. I 100% agree. 100% agree. Yeah, patient, patient. I get this. No, look out, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, no. The Cypher is at 93, but now he just dies. Hot Wax is back up. Hot Wax is back up. Boop, boop. Hot Wax, and see ya. He can honestly walk through the pallet, because even if Patient pallet slams him, he dies to Hot Wax. Another reason why I freaking hate Wax Artists, because if you pallet slam him, or you're 75% Wax, he has Hot Wax, you just die. It's really cool, dude. It's really cool that you can't use freak one of the game's, like, you know, mechanics, because he just says no. Love Wax Artists, man. If there's anything that would nerf out wax stars, it would be that one ability. It would just be that thing where you just like use your items, or if you stun him, then it would then it gives them free wax. Like uh, wax stars, like he's annoying, right? He's annoying, but I want that thing gone, dude. That's like one of the most annoying things of all time. Okay, uh, now that it's, uh, I honestly, oh, he can just, he just wax off the cipher. Yep, good try, bro. Just wax off the cipher. Yay, wax artist. Oh boy. And now, do you hot wax him? They're gonna go for, wait, go for the basic. Isn't the cipher gonna? He's gonna keep waxing off. Yeah, he's gonna keep waxing off. I mean, he, he's gotta do what he's gotta do. He's gotta do what he's gonna do. Yeah, yo, wax off the cypher. There you go, there you go. I come, just like, yo, wax it off, bro, wax it off. But at this point, I feel like if, if he plays his cards right, he never he never loses this. He hot waxes, he kills Dancer. She tries to flywheel, but misses the flywheel. He literally just keeps spamming wax bomb on the thing. Like, he literally just wax bombs the cypher every time. Wax bomb it, wax it. Bro, wax bomb it, there you go. Like, he literally just seals it off forever. Like, he can just do this for as long as he wants, because he's Wax Artist. This is why I freaking hate Wax Artist, because this is the kind of stuff that he does all the time. Like, it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Like, they're going to try and frame one pop the Cypher, probably, but he's going to keep on waxing off. Oh, he's not going to wax it off anymore? Why doesn't he wax it? Just wax it off, bro. Okay, I don't know why he didn't wax it off. I feel like you just, you just wax off the Cypher there every time. Like, you just constantly keep it waxed off. I don't know if there's like a weird cycle where like in between him waxing it off, there's like a second where like it doesn't stay waxed. But if not, if there is no like little small instance, then you just keep spamming waxing the cipher, and then like they just can't do anything. They'll never be able to pop. And then you just keep spamming hot wax as well. Like I don't know, dude. Uh, they can still draw this though from that position. And yeah, there's the rescue. There's the rescue. But they're gonna be able to have one person on the gate for free. His teleport is up. His TP is indeed up. They do finally have somebody on the gate. It's gonna be the moon gate far away. Uh, yeah, this should this should actually be a draw. This should actually be a draw. This should be a draw. They're doing pretty well against the end game wax here. It just goes for the hit. Yep. Does he TP though? Does he? T he's gonna chair TP. Yep, chair TP. And uh, by chairing and teleporting, he actually might be able to kill the patient with this. There is a chance. Does he know? He has to find where he doesn't know where patient is though. That's the thing. Oh no, he sees the trail. Oh no, it's over. It's over. It's over. That's a 3k. Oh, it's over, bro. It's over. Gosh dang it, man. Gosh dang it. I actually spotted out the freaking trail. That's it, bro. That's it. Oh boy, that's it. The dungeon was pretty close by there too. If if she was dead on chair, if Dancer was dead on chair, he actually could have just booked it for dungeon, but yeah, that's unfortunate. Because I knew where dungeon was. It was they they were they saw it here earlier. Okay, well, that's that's a 3k, dude. That's a 3k. Onwards to round two, second half, we are going to see Lawyer, Toy Merchant, Cheerleader, and First Officer. Please tell me it's not a... Oh, my gosh. This set is really just operas and wax, huh? This set is really just operas and wax, huh? Why'd you ban Hermit? I would have rather watched a Hermit. Actually, I don't know if I would. I actually take that back. I don't think I would have rather watched a Hermit. I would have watched... I would have rather watched, like any hunter that isn't opera wax hermit bonbon bon, or disciple any of those five and i'm chilling oh boy it's fine though it's fine i know it's a tournament setting they're not here for our entertainment they're here to win and win they so might because opera singer is here um although the last time they played opera singer i believe it was a draw and this team comp is actually slightly weaker against opera singer i mean don't get me wrong toy merch does have good support here um and Lily has been, I don't want to say 50-50, but she, she can be pretty hit or miss when it comes to opera singers. Like, I've seen Lily's three side for kite opera singer, and I've also seen Lily's die pretty much instantly. So I think it really just depends on how the kiting, the routing, and the, how they use their chiller to beat beeps. Um, Lawyer can actually, just vault it, bro. You don't get terror shot. Just vault it. You don't get terror shot. I don't know why he's waiting. Like, you don't get terror shot. Your lawyer, just vault it, bro. Uh, lawyer actually does have full kite build, but I think, I think he's just gonna go down here. Like, he doesn't, oh, but the toy merchant support though. 
beautiful stuff. That's one of the best. That's one of the best catapults that you can uh, set up as a toy merchant main, right there. And of course, this spot is actually pretty bad for Opera because it all counts as one. Uh, one little dash, so she actually is slow up here. This is why you wanna, if you can force an opera up here, look at how slow she is. She can't dash to side by side because all the, all the shadows count as the same one. Um, so she actually gets pretty slow here, which is really good. I'm, I'm surprised Laura didn't just kind of loop that area, but we now see Blink is up. She blinks in, I actually disagree with the swing there. Um, I don't know why she blinked right there. Like he was clearly not in sight. Like I see a blink into dash, a blink into swing. No, I completely disagree with that. Uh, so Laura's actually doing a pretty solid job cutting here. He's waiting it out, waiting it out. She's trying to she's trying to get him to vault because she wants to teleport into him once she sees it. Oh, but the vaults go away. Oh, misses the flywheel though. Yeah, this is the flywheel. Okay, I know I was I know I was making fun of the the flywheels earlier, but the big thing is like that's if the if the hunter doesn't have a crazy fast attack speed, which Opera does. I think it's. 0.31 seconds or something it might be 0.29 i forgot i'm pretty sure it's 0.31 so it's a pretty fast attack and it's pretty hard to uh, react to especially when it comes out of a dash um it, it can be it can be pretty tough to uh it can be pretty tough to react to so that was honestly a pretty average uh, opera kite though i can't even lie that that was um uh, maybe a slightly above average opera kite um and now we see that the officer is coming on in here is he gonna use his watch doll not gonna use the watch i actually agree um, you could have bought like a maybe a little bit of extra time with the watch, but it's probably better to save the item as opposed to just outright. And gonna actually use the watch now. Opting to use the watch now so that he doesn't get a uh, doesn't get chased after. But she wasn't even chasing after him, so I don't know. I don't know why he used the watch there, because that was a, kind of a waste of a watch. Kind of a waste of a watch. Um, because she literally wasn't even chasing you. And lawyer, why didn't he drop the? Just drop the pallet. Why didn't he drop the pallet? I know she can go around. I feel like you just at least, or if he doesn't drop the power, at least like mind game it, right? He kind of just walked through and walked into a barrel. Oh boy. And yeah, that's, that's, uh. Oh no, they, they do have Tide. They have Tide on the Toy Merchant. Okay, they do have Tide on the Toy Merchant. Uh, borrow time Tide. Yeah, break that catapult, break that catapult. That's good. Don't give him much rebound with Kai potential. Uh, cause he probably would have just taken that. He probably, he probably would have died, Tide Turner, used catapult, go all the way up there, died in factory, and then everybody just. Oh, here comes Toy Merchant, Miwi Ruma. What? Get hit? Gets hit out of the freaking catapult? Really? Oh, but gets hit in the pallet. So giving a bit of a, giving a bit of transition time to the lawyer. I'm surprised she didn't. Oh no, she did. She did. Oh wait, yeah, lawyer. She she threw the. That was actually so good, bro. That was actually so good. Threw the lawyer the pocket watch. And TP's back. He can just pocket watch again though. Second tuning. There we go. Second tuning. And he's gonna hop back in. Okay. This is good. This is good. The toy merchant actually having the, the uh, the freaking. Uh, Pocket Watch is actually buying a good amount of time here. He's still gonna go down. I mean, he's still gonna go down. But look at that. That that watch bought a good amount of time. I mean, part of it was tied, but he cut it, he cut it out tied longer thanks to the watch. That was very solid stuff. Very very good stuff. I love it when I spawn with a Pocket Watch as Toy Merch. I, mean, I don't really play Toy, toy Merch too often, but when I spawn with a Pocket Watch, dude, I know we're cooking. Because a decoy, it's like yeah. A serrated, it's like yeah. I'm pretty sure. Is that all she can spawn? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, what, I, what, I, what I mean is to say is like, when she gets a pocket watch though, that's what I know we're cooking. Cause I'm pretty sure it's randomized, right? I don't think it's based on the map or anything. I'm pretty sure it's just completely random whenever you get into the map. Um, but when, when we get that pocket watch, dude, we're, we're cooking, we are actually cooking. So yeah, both tides are used up. She still does have four resources, flywheel beep beeps. Tormund still has one catapult as well. We could see her replace the catapult back up at the, at the same area if she really wants to. Uh, but at this point, they're kind of just rotating the opera singer. They want to have probably the cheerleader take the kite. Most of that. Yeah, they're, they're okay. Finds find out the cheerleader. She's watching ciphers, watching ciphers. Nobody's on the cipher just yet. Yep. She doesn't want to just come into the cheerleader until she's either at half health or there's a cipher being worked on, so she can, uh, you know, chase with purpose. You know, and that's what you want to do. Chase with purpose. There's a second beep beep, and oh, the trade. That's unfortunate for the cheerleader. Very unfortunate because now she's slow and is forced to stay at this pal. That's really unfortunate. Um, you would you would have much rather taken taken the tra not not a trade there. A uh, bit of an early TP from the opera singer, and Chitter still does have her flywheel. Um, and at this point, we either see Chitter die right here, or she TPs to Cipher. TP no, there's two Cyphers being worked on. Oh, you TP to one, but that's only that's only one. They have another one that they're working on, and it's about it's about the same time. There's the watch. Now you just go for the toy merchant. Yep. She's constantly being forced to switch targets, but now our officer can come back to his cipher. Yep, already back on his cipher. There's the thing, and cannot take it in time because of the somewhat recent uh, toy merchant adjustment. Uh, in the oh TP back, that's actually really smart. Yep, but he still has two, he still has watch tunings. He still has watch tunings. So it's been so soon. Oh boy, the ciphers are a little too close. Oh boy, if the ciphers weren't that close. Ah, uh, swings. 
and is gonna go down, but oh, actually no, he's still at full health, still at full health. He actually picks up the lawyer's map, that's funny. <laughs> he does actually pick up the lawyer's map. I don't think it's gonna be that helpful, but you know, it might as well have something, right? Better than nothing. Oh! That was kind of jank looking, I can't even lie, that was pretty jank looking. Okay, Toy Merchant does pick up back her catapult, and at this point, um, they send somebody to rescue? Oh, they should just pop, right? Yeah, when, it, when it's basement, eh, there's just no point. There's no point. And you can, the thing is, Officer also stays on the chair for a while, so they should just pop, scatter, and then she's forced to kind of like stay somewhat near middle because the first officer's chair time is so dummy long. Just pop, please just pop, please pop. There you go, Play, please pop. And now they, they could draw this. They could actually draw this because she has to kind of stay near first officer because if she commits to one thing, then they, then they just go back uh, and rescue Officer because his chair time lasts forever, dude. Uh, and it seems like they are actually opting not to do that. Toy Merchant does have a catapult ready at the gate. Take catapult, take catapult, take catapult. There we go. Beautiful stuff, Toy Merchant. And she TPs back to only go back to the Toy Merchant, who is still on the gate once again. But now Chiller should go rescue the first officer. Um, yeah, teach her some respect. Don't, don't, don't run through my palette. Exactly. Teach her some respect, Miu. Good stuff. All right, now we can kind of palette stem here a little bit. I don't think we can get to this palette in time, though. Yeah, not going to be able to get to that palette in time. Opera is just too darn fast. But they get the rescue, though. They do indeed get the rescue. Good stuff. See, that's that's that officer long chair time right there. I'm pretty sure they would have been able to rescue a regular character, too. But, you know, just, just giving some extra time because it being officer is uh, is really nice. Now, the issue here is now now Opera once again knows a, a good... A good uh, it can, at least can make a good guess of where these uh, people are heading to. Obviously, one person's gonna want to go to the gate, and it's gonna be the chitter because obviously he's at full health. Um, but now, officer, it's a little risky for officer to go for the rescue here, because uh, he dies on chair. So it's it's actually better for chitter to take this kite because she's not dead on chair. But it's also riskier because if she TPs back to the chair. Good flywheel from the cheerleader. Oh my gosh, beautiful flywheel. See these these are the W flywheels that we need to see. Um, beep beep is here. Beep beep. <laughs> And she don't have another one though. She does not make it. She doesn't make it. She doesn't make it. And she can TP to the chair for safety. Officer has to get back. Oh no. Oh, she hits the chair. That's funny. It should be a 4K. But they kind of. The DB needs this 4K to catch up. I don't know if the set ends here, but they really do need this 4K. Because you kill Officer here. Well, actually, the, the, the bad thing here is that Officer is dead on chair. And Cheater is pretty close to the dungeon, so she's gonna have to ha she's gonna have to bleed it out here. She's gonna have to bleed it out. You cannot chair the officer. You cannot. No, don't chair him. What are you doing? Don't chair him. Don't chair him. Please don't chair him. Please don't chair him. Don't do it. Why are you chairing? Why are you chairing? You just gave Cheater dungeon. Why did you do that? You had a 4K right there. You had it. You needed a 4K to catch up. Why did they go for a 4K? I guess maybe... Okay, you know what? Maybe that was enough to continue the set. That's probably why. They probably got a 3K just so they could continue the set. But now it just makes it even harder for you in the next round. Like, you had the tools to do it there. I think it was worth the risk, honestly. Don't get me wrong, though. I'm pretty excited that we're seeing a round three. And we're going to see Bainster come out once again. Oh, boy. It's time for Bainster. We got Melly and Cheerleader. I love seeing Melly. You know, you know I love seeing Melly, but the Melly Chiller uh, combo is actually really. Wait, wait! Oh my gosh, this is the same IJL team, isn't it? Yo, I actually love this team so much. The synergy and teamwork with this team, because Melly and Ford is a great combo. Cheerleader and Melly is a great combo. Cheerleader and Aeroplanes is a great combo. Like, they, they, this team has good synergy, bro. I actually love this team comp. It's actually one of my favorite team comps right here, because so many characters work well with each other. I'm actually really excited for this one. Here we go. I mean, most likely Cat does take this since DB still does have a, a pretty pretty good deficit. They're going to need a 4K. They actually just need a 4K or a 4 escape. Um, Bainster is going to be running Detention, Blink, Trump Card, um, Wanted, Order, Panic, and Fast Palette Break on the Persona webs. Setting up some early traps. You know, it's, it's always good to set up these traps here. Um, try to catch some people off guard and whatnot. We're going to see Borrow Time Flywheel on everybody but the Aeroplanist who has Borrow Time Tide Turner. Uh, this is Zeus IDV. Oh, good. Using using the football to avoid the hook. Very good stuff. Good stuff to Zeus here. Um, forward taking the kite, though? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, he does have fast vaulting. That's a really good hook. Uh, a really good trap spot, actually. A really, really good trap spot. Uh, but yeah, Zeus IDV knows about that, though. He knows about it. And we see pallet break. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice. B support. B support. 
Uh, maybe a little early for the... Yeah, Melly! Yeah! Good stuff, good stuff. And his hook's on cooldown. Yeah, let's go. That's the power of Melly right there. He's going to have to football there. He has to football. Going to have to football. Drops pout. Does he blink your first hit? Blinks her first hit. Yeah, blinks her first hit. Blinks for first hit. I, I completely agree with that. Yeah, I completely agree with that. Now that's trapped off. So now, now he has to go over to this area. He still has his pallet. Uh, the bees are still here, though. Bees are still here. He breaks pout. Now shove back with bees. Shove back with bees. No? We're keeping bees there? Really? I would have shoved back with bees a little bit. Wait, he misses, he misses his hook. Oh, no. The, the teamwork here is really, really good, but Baster, again, needs a 4k to catch up. Ooh, boy. A good amount of the bees are gone. About 40% about of the bees are gone. 40% of the football is gone. Oh, no. Here we go. More football. Wait, there's a trap there, bro. Oh, no. He's, he's going... Okay. He used up like, all the ball, though. He used up all the ball. I mean, he, he got a lot of distance, and he's dead. Wait, Fly was past the... Oh! Flywheels the trap and gets to the oh I did not I don't know if I agree with using the football there that was kind of risky but now he's out of ball and and, and, and freaking Bainster knows that dude he knows that there's the hook no flywheel you're dead buddy you're dead good kite though good kite two two cipher almost three cipher kite and somebody is working on another cipher that's a that's a really solid kite and honestly that's probably the ideal person to take the kite because forward has a decoding debuff a pretty big one mind you. And, um, you know, having him not take the kite would have been worse. So we're going to see, we're going to see aeroplanes and, did he just use hover? No. Wait, what? Okay. I, for some reason, I thought he used hover. My goodness. Okay. Oh, the bees! Yo, this melee support is insane! Yo! And it's been so, like, efficient, too. It's been so efficient. Oh, boy. Doesn't actually drop the pallet there. I would have dropped that pallet. Uh, 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 I guess, you know what? To be fair, I actually kind of agree because you have tide turner. You have Tide. You don't need to waste the resources while you have Tide. Just rock hide it out. And only drop the pallets that you think you... Yeah, there we go. There you go. Di dies pretty much at the exact same around... Uh, around the exact same amount of time that Tide Center ended. Um, but by the time they get this next rescue, the Cyphers are going to be ready. This is going to be a four-person endgame. This is actually going to be a four-person endgame. The kite was just too long. Uh, there's B support again. I don't know if the B support is... Oh my... Yo! He almost could have been on struggle free. It's Kong Ho Melly. Let's go, Kong Ho Melly. Kong Ho Melly. Is that the cipher they're trying to? Oh, that's the cipher they're trying to prime, though. Kong Ho Melly. Yes, get the rescue. Oh, she's 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 extending. She's extending. Oh my gosh. No terror shock. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Now you body body block for him. Body block for him, Melly. Come on. Come on. Oh, Melly. Let's go. Zeus, look out, bro. Oh, the Mish Blink. Zeus. Zeus. Oh. The, <laughs> he bit it at a flywheel or something. Nah, the Cypher's prime. He doesn't need to. He doesn't need to. Oh, boy. And the bees again. There's not much bees. He's not even swinging at them. Yo. The bees again. Yo, four can get touch it. Melly, look out, though. Melly. I don't know if she can make it. Oh, no. He messes up hook. He messes up hook. Get back on that door. Get back on that door. Block up bees there. He swings at bees. Charles hover, yup, yeah, hover, get out of there, bro. Traps down the, oh my gosh, it's, it's, it's Lily at 96. Oh my gosh, dude. Yo, please tell me if anybody doesn't get out, it's not Melly. I, I want Melly to get out at least, please. Okay, some support for Charles, some support for Charles. Yo, the hook counterplay, he has no hover. He tries to jetpack, he tries to jetpack. Ah, oh, unfortunate, unfortunate. Okay, Th this should be a three escape though, this should be a three escape. Yep, it's a three escape. And that, I'm pretty sure, secures the win for Team Cat. I'm almost certain. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to come back from this. I don't think so. That's a 1K. Is that just... Do they just give it? Yep, they give it up to Team Cat. Good stuff. Good stuff to Team Cat. I can't even lie, dude. I can't even lie. That's one of my favorite team comps to watch, bro. That's one of my favorite team comps to watch. I absolutely love watching that comp, bro. Melly, forward, Aeroplanist, cheer. Such a good team comp, bro. Absolutely amazing team comp. And it's so funny they're running Kong Ho and freaking, uh, and freaking Zeus's skin. That's so funny. It's almost as if Zeus and I were playing, yo, one day, bro. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, boy. Still, really good stuff to Team Cat. And there we go, everybody. That is going to be it for today. There's only one more set that we have to watch uh, in South Korean. I believe that's going to be between GBB and Team Cat. Team Cat did not qualify this yet. They have to go through one more set 
Uh, same with GVB. They have to go through one more set, which we will check out tomorrow. So I hope you're all looking forward to that. I kind of hope we get to see another similar comp that we did uh, with that melee forward and whatnot. Um, but also less wax artists, please less wax artists. <laughs> Oh boy. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.